In this video, we will show you how to replace your upstream O2 sensor on this Ford Fusion. You'll have two of these, one on the forward and the rearward side of your engine. Let's get into it. The front O2 sensor will require the removal of the airbox. For the rear sensor, you'll just need to remove the sensor. The first thing we want to do is locate the O2 sensor. I can see this one directly on the manifold pipe down here. Now we're going to pay attention to the electrical connector. This one's pretty much out in the open. Carefully use a flat blade screwdriver and depress the locking tab. While doing that, we'll pull this out of place. With that disconnected, you want to make sure that you give both ends a quick inspection for corrosion. If you see any, you need to take care of it. Now with that disconnected, the next thing that you would want to do is start removing the O2 sensor from the pipe. As you can tell, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze here, and I don't want you to hurt yourself with a ratchet. To gain a little bit more access to do the front upstream O2 sensor, we're going to remove the upper air filter housing. To dislodge your upper air filter housing, start with your two locking clips. Now we'll make our way up here. You'll find that you have a seven millimeter headed clamp. We're going to loosen this just enough that we can separate this area. We don't have to disconnect the mass airflow sensor, but we do want to make sure that we don't damage it in this process. Carefully set this aside. Let's use our O2 sensor socket down on the O2 sensor. Get our ratchet on here. These are usually pretty tight in here. You're gonna want something with leverage. Get our tool out of there. And there it is, friend. The next thing you wanna do is clean and inspect the mounting point there. We'll use some sandpaper for that. All right, let's get ready for the installation of our brand new upstream O2 sensor. Pay attention to the end with the threading. You should have some anti-seize on that area. Be careful not to get it on the sensing agent. Let's take this and carefully put it in position in the pipe. We'll start it in by hand and bottom it out. After that, you can make sure it's nice and snug. With that hand tight, we'll continue on with our O2 sensor socket. We'll snug it up. The torque for this is 35 foot-pounds, assuming you can make your way in with a torque wrench. There we go. With that torqued, we'll continue on with our electrical connector. Align your locking tab and press this into position. Listen for a click. We'll give it a little tug just to make sure it's completely secure. Once you've done that, continue on to reinstalling your air filter housing. When you go to put this together, you'll find that you have two tabs on the upper housing and you'll have two slots on the lower housing. Carefully take this and put it in position, paying attention to your mass airflow sensor wiring. We're going to slide it onto the air inlet tube at the same time as doing this. Now we'll pay attention to those two tabs. We wanna slide those into the box there. Roll this down and lock it in. Take hold of that air filter housing and give it a nice wiggle. Let's continue on to our seven millimeter headed clamp. Double check to make sure everything's secure. You don't want any dirty or unmetered air making its way into the engine. Okay friend, we've got the vehicle back together. At this point, go ahead and close the hood, start up the vehicle, let it run for a while. Make sure you have no check engine light and take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.